What's up, everybody? So we're going to react to Kanye West. Again, Kanye West is all over Christian uh, media, Christian internet, I guess you can say, um, because he said he was on an interview and he said that he had issues with Jesus, that uh, he wasn't, um, he, he prayed and he was praying and, and that Jesus didn't show up. And then he called himself God. He compares himself to God. Um, so we're going to react to this. Let's take a look at what this man is saying. I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I didn't see Jesus show up. So I had to put my, uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience with the level of music that I was dealing with in my own hands. Mm -hmm. Like a, a lot of times I just feel like in our society, in America, you know, people, Christians, we depend on Jesus so much that we won't put the word in ourselves. And the main thing that really that I, I don't rock with is like, it's just always like, I'm gonna pray for you. And it's just like, you can actually physically do something yourself too, more than just pray. And we're so in this mentality that that's all that needs to happen, but we ain't, we ain't praying our way out of prison. Mm -hmm. We ain't praying our way out of the abortion clinics. We ain't praying our way to get our land back that was always ours after gentrification, after the Harlem uh, Renaissance and Black Wall Street was burned mm -hmm. to the ground. Them prayers ain't working. We, gonna, we have to apply actual physical building partnerships. Hands and, it, and it don't start unless we could really be real with each other and say, this is what I did, this is what I did. Like, I mean, look at this. I know I'm not gonna third rail y'all interview, but look at the power of what happened when me and Kyrie was on the same page. See, that's what's scary. But what they do is they put us each in a silo and say, your grandmother gonna lose her crib and this gonna, you know how I many threats we've been dealt, dealt with? And I didn't pray my way through them threats either. I had to get up and do it myself. I had so much to do, I ain't had time to pray. Okay, so Kanye West says that he prayed and Jesus didn't show up and, uh, you know, certain things that he had to do himself and he didn't have time to pray. I mean, there's one thing that he did say that I do like. Um, when people say, yeah, I'll pray for you, I'll pray for you, but they don't actually do it. You know, they don't actually pray for them or, or that they can actually do something about it. That is true. Remember, the Bible says that faith without works is dead. We need to do something about it. If we really believe that God is going to do something um, through you, then do it. Right? And, and uh, there's a lot of people out there that they just pray and pray and they don't do anything about it. Um, I'll give you one example. Uh, you don't pray for you to have safe uh, travels when you're driving somewhere you don't pray for safe travels and then after you pray you speed 20 you know 20 uh, uh 20 miles over the speed limit that's you're not taking the necessary action to show your faith you get what i'm saying you're not actually taking the necessary action to show your faith remember james says that faith without works is dead so you can pray all you want. True. Yeah. Prayer. Prayer. I believe that prayer. Um, I don't want to say prayer works because it's not like some drug or something. But prayer is your, your open communication with God. You still got to do something. So he has a point. He has a point there. Um, <laughs> but when he said when he said he prayed about something, he prayed about multiple things, it seems like. And Jesus Christ didn't show up. Well, what were you praying for? You know, there are multiple cases in the Bible where um, someone prayed and God didn't answer. I'll give you one example. Jesus Christ prayed when he was at the Garden of Gethsemane and God was silent. Jesus Christ says, hey, if it, you know, uh, he said, he said, let this cup pass from me. So if there's any other way, if there's any other way, let this cup pass from me. He says, was silent. God was silent. That prayer wasn't answered. But remember, the Bible also says, Jesus Christ also said, but let your will be done. 
your will be done. So are we praying? Are we praying? Check your prayers. Are you praying for something selfish? Are you putting up, uh, putting up selfish prayers? Or are you actually praying for God's will to be done? Yeah, you could pray for certain things, but if it's not God's will, it's not going to happen. But you could also pray for something and maybe God would, maybe God says, you know what? I'll answer that prayer, but you're not going to like that, that answer. Remember Hezekiah? Hezekiah prayed. Hezekiah asked for more years. Remember, God, um, God said that Hezekiah, Hezekiah was supposed to die. And actually, when he was supposed to die, he was supposed to die saved. Hezekiah prayed. God gave the, God gave him 15 more years. And Hezekiah died lost. So maybe the, the reason why God didn't answer your prayer is because he's trying to save you. I want to show you guys one more thing. I want to show you guys one more thing. Did you guys know that the Bible says that there's a certain type of prayer that he's not going to answer? The Bible says this. Watch this. If you guys remember in John 9, the, the blind man that Jesus healed. Remember when Jesus healed, healed this blind man. It took the, he took the dirt, he spat on the dirt and he made clay and then he put it on the blind man's eye, uh, eyes and then the man was healed. Well, the Pharisees took notice of this. The Pharisees actually questioned him about it. And look what he says. He says, the, uh, it's, it says here, the man answered and said unto them, why herein is a marvelous thing that ye know not from whence he is, and yet he hath opened mine eyes. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. He said, now we know that God heareth not sinners. Where is he getting this from? It's actually from Proverbs. But anyways, he says, now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Who does God hear? God hears the prayers of the one that does the will of God. And what is the will of God? What is the will of God? Watch this. Watch this. The, the, the one that does the will of God, what is the will of God? Psalm 40 and verse 8 says, I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. What did the man say? The man does not hear the words or the, 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 the words of a, of a sinner. What is, what is sin? According to the Bible, sin is the transgression of the law. But then he says, the one that does the will of God, that man, God hears. God hears the prayer of the man that does the will of God, not the man that transgresses the law. Why? Because the one that does the will of God actually has the law in his heart. As it says here in Psalm 40 and verse 8, it says, I delight to do thy will, O my God, yea, thy law is within my heart. So Kanye, Kanye, the only way, the only way that God is going to hear our prayers we're all sinners. How, how can God hear our prayers then? We're all sinners. The only way that God can hear our prayers is if we first confess our sins and repent. When we confess our sins, the Bible says that God is faithful to forgive. Once we confess our sins and we, we ask God for forgiveness, God cleanses us. Right then and there. Imputed righteousness right then and there. Now he can hear your prayers. Now he can hear your prayers. Think about it. Look what it says in Proverbs 8. Watch this. Watch this. Let's go to Proverbs, actually Proverbs 28 and verse 9. Let's go to Proverbs 28 and verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the what? From hearing the law. Even his prayer shall be abomination. Proverbs 28 and verse 9. So we got we to gotta ask ourselves. We really want God to hear our prayers? I mean, we know that God actually does hear our prayers. It's not like He can, you know, I, he, I know, that we all know that God knows everything. God can hear our prayers, but this, this, means, this means that He's not going to pay attention to it. 
Why? Because you still have, you've offended God. You have not said sorry for your sins. Once we, once we actually, once we actually uh, confess our sins and ask God to give us the the power to repent, that is when God hears, because He knows that that person that is repent, repentant of his sins, that person that confesses his sins and asks God for forgiveness, that is a person that is after God's own heart. So Kanye, have you been, have you been asking the Lord to forgive you of your sins? Now we know that this is not what saves us, right? We know that God saves us God, Jesus Christ saves, right? It is by the blood of Jesus Christ that, that that's what saves us. But we also have to be cleansed. We also have to be cleansed. And we cannot be cleansed if we are keeping, tucking away our sins. We can't be cleansed. We can't be cleansed if we're out here tucking away our sins, putting it in our hearts as if, this, as if that, those sins are our treasures. We cannot be saved that way. God does not hear our prayers that way. Okay, that's one factor. Another factor is maybe whatever you're praying for is not God's will. Okay, maybe whatever you're praying for is not God's will. Remember, Jesus Christ prayed. He said, if there's any other way, let this cup pass from me. He was, he was in the Garden of Gethsemane right before he was crucified. He said, if there's any other way, God, let this cup pass from me. But your will be done, not mine. God was silent. Are we better than Christ? Are we more righteous than Christ? That we need God to answer our prayers right then and there? Are we better than Christ? Christ, the righteous one, are we better than Him? Whatever God's will is, that's what He's going to do. Whatever God's will is, that's what, that's what He's going to do. It's up to you to have faith or not. It's up to you to have faith or not. Just because He didn't answer one of your prayers, two of your prayers, three, four, five hundred of your prayers. It, I don't know how many prayers you did. If it's ten prayers that you did and God didn't answer, it took ten prayers. It took ten unanswered prayers. For you to say, nah, I'm my own God. I don't need God. God didn't answer my prayers, so I'm gonna I'm gonna step away. It took 10 prayers. It took 50 prayers for you to say, yeah. It took 50 unanswered prayers. 50 unanswered prayers for you to say, nah, he didn't answer my prayers. Nah, I'm not I'm not gonna pray anymore. What kind of faith is that? Jesus Christ was about to die and God was silent. And still, the Bible says, Jesus Christ was obedient, even to the point of death. Even to the point of death, Jesus Christ kept the faith. Even to the point of death. Did you guys know that at the end times, we're gonna, we're gonna go through Jacob's trouble? Did you guys know that at the end we're gonna go through Jacob's trouble, where we're gonna pray and pray, and we're not gonna we're not gonna hear God answering our prayers. We're not gonna know if our prayers are are are, are going up there. That's the time of Jake, Jacob's trouble. Remember when when Jacob was wrestling with the with the angel with the man. That's actually Jesus Christ, and he says, "I will not let you go until you bless me." That should be our prayers. Kanye West went through an experience, a, a Jacob's trouble experience, and he did not come. He did not come out being blessed. He did not come out as Israel. He remained Jacob. Israel is one who prevails with God. Do you guys remember the story? When Jacob was wrestling with that man, with that angel, with God, with Jesus Christ, and he says, I will not let you go until you bless me. And because he held on to that faith, 
because he held on, he was blessed and there was a name change. God changed his name from Jacob, usurper, to Israel, one who prevails with God, a prince. Kanye West maybe had a Jacob, a Jacob's trouble experience. And he did not hold on to faith. He did not have a name change. He remained a usurper. That's right. He remained a usurper because right in this, in this actual interview that, that Kanye West was in, he actually compared himself to God. He was trying to usurp God's authority. He was trying to usurp the throne of God. Compares himself to God. He remained Jacob then. He remained a usurper. He did not, his name was not, his character was not changed to Israel. His character remained usurper, Jacob. Will that be your experience? How many unanswered prayers, how many unanswered, unanswered prayers is it going to take for you to say, nah, I don't believe in God anymore. How many unanswered prayers? If I look at the comment section, I better see the comments in the comments, within the comments from every individual here that believe in God. There is no amount of unanswered prayers that can make me disbelieve God. I better see that in the comment section. I better see that in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys were blessed by this video, please like and share. If you guys want to support, you guys can do so by praying for this ministry and also donating at schoolforprofits.tv or sfp.center. The link is in the description box below. This is what I do full time in order for me to support my family and to support this ministry. So if you guys want to support, please do so. All the links are in the description box below. You can donate description box below, or you guys can buy hats and t-shirts and things like that at sfp.center. Thank you guys again. Praise God always. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Avocado Grease.